Warning, this channel and all games played are intended for a mature audience. If you are under the age of 13, you need to leave this channel now. Also, Redbeard is a total and you wouldn't like him anyway. If you are easily offended, you might as well get the hell out of here also. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been one day since we have Outlaw Pass number four, and number five has already been leaked. Not completely, but a good amount of stuff from Outlaw Pass 5 has already been leaked by some data miners. Now, first, I noticed this from Go Burns. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description. He's a great guy. Go over there and show him some love. Give him a sub. But he shared it, and it was through a Reddit post. And the Reddit post is by Operation Broken Eagle. And if you don't want it spoiled, it'll probably be hard for it not to be spoiled if you're part of the Red Dead Online community. But don't go any further. So yes, I am telling you not to watch any more of the video. But if you do want to see it, we're getting ready to get into it right now. So last warning. So all right, guys, here you go. Here's the stuff we're going to be looking at. It is only cosmetic stuff. And it's not enough of stuff to be enough for a full pass. But it may just be the cosmetic stuff out of the pass. And then the rest of it, you know, is full of, you know, coupons and stuff like that. So here are what we're looking at right now. There's men and women variations of this outfit. It's... Uh, it looks like there's some kind of a, either a snake or a gator skin at the bottom, uh, but that is a peacock skull. And um, then we got an emote to that, to those boots. There's the rest, there's the outfit that goes along with it. And then here's this jacket. It's actually a pretty decent looking jacket. Hopefully there's color variations of it. Um, there's some skulls and crossbones down the front. It's kind of cool. Again, there's a min variation of this as well. And then here's a coat that goes along with those boots. We're going to also see some pants that go along with it as well. Um, and then that this vest, it looks like, a of course, color-wise, it's supposed to go along with it. But it doesn't really make sense once you see the vest later on. And uh, those gloves, these gloves go along with it. Of course, it's peacock because you can see the, the eye that's usually on the, uh, the tail feathers of the peacocks. And then we go down to the hat for the women. It's, uh, I don't know, it just looks stupid. I mean, she looks freaking excited to be wearing it herself, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, <laughs> there's the hat. And uh, let's go down to the next one here. I assume this is for men and women because it has a women character. Maybe it's just two hats. Another hat could go for the men as well. Usually there's no um, you know, reason for the men and women not to have the same hats. And uh, this was pretty cool. It's got some cards. You got the feathers on the back and skulls around it. Purple looks kind of cool. Uh, I would like it without the feathers, but I know it's part of the outfit that's there. And then we got this monstrosity. I'm not really sure why this is here. Maybe when Outlaw Pass 5 comes out, there's some kind of a weird theme. I mean, the peacock thing's already kind of weird, um, but a straw beard uh, with rope tied onto it. And um, I'm assuming it only goes for the women because the men characters can already wear beards. But I mean, who knows? I'm not going to put it past Rockstar to put it on men and women too, so... Uh, let's go down to the next one. And here's the pants for the women. It goes along with the coat, the hat, gloves that we've seen. And these buckles, I, I don't know. At first, I thought they were cool. And then the more I look at them, I think it could get really, really old and expensive um, the more I think about it. But there is four more buckles that go along with story mode characters. Like there's Sadie right there. It looks like a coyote. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I was thinking it would be cool, but the more I look at it, I could get tired of it pretty quick. So I'm kind of tired of it now. The Micah one I think is cool. Um, Charles Smith one I think is kind of cool. Just because I like uh, Charles Smith. But um, yeah, uh, I don't know. But let's carry on. And this image, I think it may just be a random image that's thrown in here because it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, unless there's like some kind of a, you know, custom mom jeans thing going here. But I think those pants are kind of some of the ones that women already have anyway. And that shirt doesn't look like much to even talk about to put into a pass. So it could be just some kind of a weird default image that's thrown in here. This stuff is data mined. And then we have these vests. The vests actually are nice. There's a men's one too. We're going to see here in a second, but it's, it's pretty decent actually. And, um, then, then there's the men's, <laughs> this is the men's boots of the peacocks too. And then the variation of this coat, like I said, it's not horrible. Um, it is least Western, and uh, I'll give them that at least on that. And then we got the coat for the men. Um, 
I don't know what they're doing. I really don't know where they're going here with this. Uh, but yeah, there's that coat there that goes with the rest of the outfit. And uh, the men, of course, you know, have that hat as well. I mean, him, he looks completely excited to be wearing it as well. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, carry down. And then this is the men wearing the hat too. And then uh, the men with the peacock pants. And then just the men, the buckles, the exact same thing. So let's just scroll on past those. Don't waste any time. And uh, yeah, the weird default. Maybe there's some, maybe something up with this shirt. I don't get it. Maybe the pants. I don't recognize them right offhand. Uh, if you guys do, uh, let me know down in the comments. But it looks like it's just a random default image to me. And then the men with a vest as well. Again, pretty decent at least. Hopefully there's more of an outfit that goes along with it because it does look kind of cool. And then this is that vest that we saw under the uh, image that was with the women. That goes more with the coat for the men, but it's the same color as the peacock thing, so there's some kind of a theme going there, I guess. And then we have additional arrow pouches. That is actually pretty handy because I do use arrows a lot compared to some of the other ammo and stuff like that. Uh, but you are limited with the arrows, so it is cool. They're going to make it to where you can have uh, more of them. And uh, let's go on down here to additional repeater uh, ammo pouches. Pretty decent again. I mean, repeater, I use that a lot too, uh, Lancaster. Um, so it's cool they're going to have that in there. And um, next one here, additional revolver. Uh, we had other ones in the current pass, so they're going to, you know, of course, split them up. I expected them to anyway, because I didn't think they were going to have ones for certain ones and not do that. Um, but yeah, let's go on down here. The next one here, varmint, um, you know, probably for sedatives more so. Regular varmint, you, I don't see many people needing it, but I guess for sedatives, it will come in handy if you're uh, doing the naturals roll a lot. And then just more emotes. I'm just kind of done with them. We got some actually kind of okay ones if you're into it, but... I don't think we need to get emotes every single time. Um, yeah, so we'll go down to this. I mean, that's that's how I feel about this outlaw pass already. Uh, so <laughs> let's go down to this one. And then you got that one as well. I mean, they are what they are. No sense over explaining emotes. And then, uh, yeah, point, just holding a finger. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go down to the next one. And uh, yeah. No, they're just typical emotes from Rockstar. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's go. Yeah, that's exactly. That's exactly what I think about it so far. <laughs> and uh, let's go down. You got another doggo. Little dog there. This is actually pretty nice. This is down to just another color variant. So it's a different dog altogether. I'm not sure what kind of dog it is. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to have a different dog at least. And then some more camp flags. Um, I'm kind of getting tired of like we had a gelatin this one and now we got a brewery one um, It'd be cool if you could put you know I know this is treading weird waters because I, I seen stuff get you know, really screwed up on GTA online when people are able to upload their own logos But maybe you could have an in-game logo creator and you could put your you know posse logo on that That would be cool if they had an in-game one so no one would upload anything weird I think that would be a whole lot better than these ones we keep getting and then um, that one, I mean, that one's at least better than the brewery one. And uh, some more pictures. I don't know if these are ones or that are runners up or anything like that to the contest, or these are just random pictures for your moonshine shack. You got one there of a, I guess that's an elk. Uh, let's go down to the next one here. And um, new Hanover area maybe or something, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, just another just uh, landscape picture. And then we got some more photo backdrops. You got one there. Um, yeah, not too bad. I'm just, it's just too much of this stuff, I think, is what it is. I mean, people use it, but I think it's just getting to be a little too much of just uh, the filler stuff here. And I uh, wanted some staircases there. But yeah, that that's that's just all we got right now. Like I said, this is data mine, so this is not an official like release from Rockstar or anything. So nothing too crazy great here um but it does seem like it probably fills up probably maybe at least 30 percent of the outlaw pass because you know if you threw in vouchers in between all this stuff i mean it would probably rank you up to probably about 25 30 and 100 rank outlaw pass so yeah not very underwhelming not very excited for it maybe the other stuff that comes out with it will um but one thing about the next update Data miners also video tech on Twitter released that 
the naturalist role was actually started being worked on back in September of 2019. And then the current uh, role expansion we just got of the bounty hunter was actually started on January and they just now released. So maybe this is 10 months or maybe, you know, with COVID, it did slow it down a whole lot more. So that's why, you know, it's still on track to be released like it was released. So we didn't really, really wait longer than we needed to. But the only thing if we think about this is the way they do work is if it is maybe in a 10 month cycle, which some of the stuff for animations, if you're gonna do story stuff, I do see it taking that long. But if we do think about with COVID, the next update, because the, the outlaw pass we have now goes through mid-March. Um, it may be a while before we get the next one out because of COVID, because I know the office has been shut down a lot. And on Twitter and stuff, they had talked about some of the devs and stuff that they were remote working. Of course, people can work, but you still can't get the same work done you normally would in-house. So hopefully it doesn't push it too much farther back. I'm really surprised this stuff's actually in there as data mine. Usually data miner stuff comes out of the current drip feed, not the next one, at least with Rockstar. I know with other games, it's different, but this is the first time with Rockstar, at least that I know of, that one of a next um, outlaw pass, next update, we actually have images and it's not just people talking about it. So Anyway, guys, that's a, a current leak of the next one coming up. I say it's very underwhelming, um, but, you know, who knows? Maybe it could be great on the rest side. But, yeah, it's probably about 30% of the next one, though, guys. So if you want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online or maybe some more leaks come out with this and you want to stay up to date with that as well, uh, make sure to hit that sub button and bell notification. Also, make sure to go over there and give some love to Go Burns. He's a pretty good guy, like I said at the beginning of the video. And um, I will catch you guys next time in the next video.